Hey guys, it's Will Patterson here again with another Illustrator CC tutorial and today Hive has asked me to go ahead and share how I create my grunge text effect within Illustrator. For those of you that don't know, Hive is a new online professional network where creative people can upload their portfolio, find inspiration, education and work. And if you want any more information on that, all the info is in the description and all the links. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and create a new document. So I'm going to go ahead and press file new and the size and the dimension of the document is going to be 1280 by 720. And as soon as we're into the new document, I'm going to zoom out by pressing control command minus. I'm going to go ahead and start creating my text. So I'm going to go to my text option over here to the left and I'm going to click and put my caps lock on and type in grunge. Okay, so the font that we're using today isn't anything you have to download, it's directly within Illustrator. It's called Myriad Pro and we're going to stick with this font because it's got a load of different weights and by weights I mean over here on the top right of the character we need to go ahead and choose a different weight and each one of these has different sort of sizes and makes it more bold, gives it italic, you have regular and you have condensed. We're going to go to bold condensed because this works well with this text effect. I'm going to just up the size a bit like so by pressing command uh, and shift and we're going to keep going up like so. Awesome. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight this and I'm going to center it to my artboard. Amazing. Okay now we've got our text there making sure that you are happy with the text and what it says press command shift and O. What this command does is it outlines the text so it no longer becomes editable and all the shapes are basically shapes. So you can't edit the text anymore as a live text group. Okay, to make the grunge effect like we have over here, we need to go ahead and highlight the text and go over to the panel to your brushes. To get the brushes panel, go over to window and down to brushes or press F5 and you'll be seeing these sort of default brushes. So highlight your text, make sure that you're on the swatch option down here on the bottom left, you'll see that I'm on the swatch option and press on one of these brushes, press on the grunge one and you'll see that it's all being grunged up a tiny bit. This looks good but I want a bit of a harsher grunge brush or I want a harsher edge. And the way to do this is I'm gonna to go to my brushes board over here I'm going to bring this out so you can see. I'm going to go down to the bottom left icon, which is the brush libraries menu. I'm going to click on that. and I'm going to go down to vector packs, and then go over to grunge brush vector pack. And what this will do, this will bring up a grunge vector pack, which is within Illustrator. You don't have to download it. It's already there for you to use. It's one of those secret things that no one knows about really. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and highlight our grunge text effect making sure we're still on the swatch we're going to go ahead and choose a different brush and each time you choose a different brush you'll see that the grunge text effect changes if you want to change the size of the brush on the outside you can do this by highlighting your text going up to the stroke options up here and you can go down to the decibel 2.5 or sorry 0.25 not 2.5 and this will change the size I'm going to stick with this one because I like the grunginess on the outside and it's not too overpowering. Okay, that's it for this tutorial guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to look out for the other videos and remember to check out Hive if you're looking to kickstart your creative career.